Hello, my name is Rose Reisman and I am working in Toronto, Canada in community hospital as a primary healthcare nurse practitioner and I'm specializing in wound, ostomy, incontinence care. I have outpatient clinic uh, twice a week and also I see inpatient population. Uh, in this lecture, I would like to tell you about how I use uh, moleculite to measure my wound and track uh, how they heal. Wound surface area reduction is used to predict healability and as an indicator of the care protocol effic efficacy. We usually measure the wound from longest diameter perpendicular uh, to the width. Uh, some other places use uh, head to toe direction and then perpendic perpendicular direction. Using uh, this way of measuring can uh, overestimate or underestimate 40% of the uh, real wound measurements and it will be not the best option to base your clinical decisions on. So digital planimetry tools have been demonstrated to be more accurate and consistent than conventional methods. And in this presentation, I'm going to show you a couple of examples how I used moleculite uh, and how did it help me to measure wounds better. So this is moleculite and I usually see uh, use uh, moleculite to uh, see if there is a bacteria in the wound. But today I'm going to tell you not about bacteria, but uh, how I use moleculite to measure the wound. They, uh, they developed a proprietary algorithm uh, uh, that we can either use manual tracing or it automatically detect the wound edges and uh, give the estimation of the wound. So uh, in this particular uh, presentation, uh, you will see the standard image the image with the wound measurement and fluorescent image, which usually will show me bacterial load or absence of that. You also will see two yellow dots and two yellow dots are used to estimate the wound uh, size. So uh, how does moleculite uh, work? When uh, excited by 405 nanometers violet light, tissue fluorescent green, and bacteria fluorescent red. So Staphylococcus aureus, for example, will give you a, a red fluorescence. And also it can fluorescent cyan green, which will be example of Cytomonas aeruginosa. And th this helped me in the real time point of care to detect what kind of bacteria or if there is a, a, a bacteria or there is no bacteria, if it's more than a 10 and 4 uh, uh, color forming units per gram. It helped me to decide if I do need some antimicrobials or not on top of my clinical judgment. So results. The first one I would like to share with you is the inaccuracy of the standard management for wounds which are irregular shape. For, for example, this wound, if I will uh, use the standard lens to it, I will get totally uh, different measurements that if I will trace the wound and accurately uh, have the estimation. So in this particular case, the overestimations was 46%. So you can see that in this particular uh, case, using the standard measurement, lo the longest diameter and the perpendicular width, the wound will measure 29.6 cm square when moleculite estimated it 15.9 cm square. Which will, which will give us 46.3% difference. Almost half of the wound we healed just with proper measurements. Uh, here is another example when uh, the wound was taken weekly. This is a 72 years old uh, patient with venous leg ulcers and I could see a great progression to the wound healing. Uh, this is also an amazing tool to show to the patients. See, your wound is healing very well and they are very happy. Uh, and um, 
it uh, actually in this particular case won't decrease in size by 30 percent in just eight days and i knew that my treatment is very well and i don't need to change it and uh, i continued with the same treatment in uh, this case scenario was a little bit different in this case the wound of, of 74 year old uh, venous ulcer uh, was healing well at some point and decreased 30 percent in four weeks but then stalled and you can see uh, standard images and also bacterial load images so in some points you can see a red blush and uh, some green blush so in those points i used molecular to add my antimicrobial treatment because there was no systemic or local uh, signs of infection otherwise uh, unfortunately this wound didn't close by uh, 140 days for the study but i could see where is my treatment should be changed when the wound did not progress well so here is an, a graphical uh, representation of the picture so you can see the lack of progress of the wound between days 62 to 91 there was a time when systemic antibiotics was given and uh, then uh, wound decreased in size and then something else happened with the patient again it's not only our local wound care it also depends uh, uh, patient concord concordance so this particular patient stopped smoking then he started smoking and then he was walking a little bit more then he was a little bit depressed so this all can affect the wound healing and i completely aware of it but giving an objective measurements also helped me to encourage patient to be more partner in the care and say you see your wound is getting bigger again maybe you will uh, do something and maybe you will stop smoking see when you were not smoking it was healing pretty well so in total you can see that i was using manual tracing in most of the cases 84 uh, percent of the cases in 60 percent of the cases it was automatic tracing in the uh, sample 44% uh, was non-healing trajectory and 56 was healing trajectory. In conclusion, I love to have moleculite when uh, I'm measuring my wounds. It gives me more accurate measurements. It helped me to show the patients how they progress because those who use technology will take a picture of it and uh, they will bring it to the visit and say, oh, last time this was my measurements. What is was it what is it now i also have uh, for people who don't have uh, phones and don't like to take photography i also have a pink card which i give to them and at the back of the card i write the measurement so they can trace how their wound healing uh, this device uh, helped me to measure wounds accurately and keep track of them thank you very much